you and I are both, we've had several con- conversations about subdivision, time feel, internal feel, where to place things, how to place things. This is kind of what I want to get into you, a lot with you is kind of subdivision, time feel. Where did you learn and how did you develop your internal time clock? I played along to a lot of records and got really lucky with playing a great with other great musicians, primarily drummers, bass players. Yeah. A lot of experiential stuff. I mean, from an early an early age, I was just blessed to be able to play with some cats that were really grooving. Yeah. And then, yeah, just shedding to records where I would basically be, you know, I'd, try, I'd put myself in the band. You know, I'd learn a part, try to play it all the way through. A lot of times I wouldn't even like transcribe the solos. I would just sort of solo on top of the soloist during the solo sure. section, yeah. you know, and just hit it, repeat, do it over and over again. But learning records, man, learning tunes and then just playing hours and hours and hours of gigs. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I mean, I, I, truth be told, like, haven't done a ton of like serious metronome work. Mm. I think I just, you know, just got involved, you know, having to do it on sessions and stuff like that. And now I do a little bit more of it just because, you know, I need to work on it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, mostly it was just playing a lot of gigs, a lot of guitar. Yeah. Hands on the instrument. Well, also, yeah. what's interesting to me, so you're able to pull off both the rhythm thing at a 10 out of 10 and also the shred thing out of a 10 out of 10 and like guitar solos. Like, so for me, like I feel, I feel like I've got the rhythm game. Like that to me is, is what I feel I bring to the table. And yeah, I can solo and like, I do a lot of like jam rock jazz solos, but, but more like in like the way that like a Chet Baker or even like Paul Desmond, you know, as far as horn players compared to like, Mm -hmm a train or a cannonball or something, you know, cats that are ripping high concept, high chops, all the things just rotating over. That to me is, is an, is a skill in itself, just being that versatile, but also being a 10 out of 10 at both of them. Do you approach, like, how do you approach rhythm playing differently than lead playing? And when do you differentiate when to make that switch? Cause I've seen it in your playing. Sometimes you'll switch, whether it be a little technique thing or, or I just see your brain go, oh, and then all of a sudden, like, <laughs> yeah, like something switches. What, what is it for you in that? Right on. Thanks, man. I mean, you know, it's interesting. I think I actually approach everything from a rhythmic concept, even when it comes to soloing. Sure. Um, that's really the, you know, if I'm playing a million notes or four, they all have to be in the pocket. Yeah. You know, they all have to make important st- statements from a phrase perspective. Yeah. You know, I need to... St- put the gaps in the right place, which not only helps you with your time feel, but it just sort of helps you tell a better story. Yeah. You know, if you take breaths like a singer would or something like that, but my influences are kind of all over the map. I mean, I'm definitely like a big Eddie Van Halen fan and, and he would sort of, he, his solos, you could like dance to, you yeah. know what I mean? Like they had a really cool time feel. Sometimes it was behind the beat. Sometimes he would almost do something completely out of time, but he would always land. Sure. Right in the pocket and that kind of stuff soloists like that always were important to me. And so I would listen to a lot of players like that. But then again, all the the rhythm guitar players that I loved, I would just kind of take what I learned from both sides of the spectrum and kind of be able to, you know, switch between the two, but really the, the rhythm and the time feel is always the most important thing to me. Um, especially I think maybe even more. Well, let me try to say this. Yeah, I don't like listening to my leads if they don't feel good. Mm. Like, I don't care what notes I played or what melody I played, but if the feel's not there and it's not pocket or funky or rocking in the right way, yeah. you know, I need to work on that. So, but yeah, it might just come from loving both ways of playing equally, Yeah, I think. <laughs> totally, totally. I mean, yeah. the, the other the other ones that I can think of, even in that realm, as you're talking, it's like Eddie Van Halen had the lead and rhythm thing. Prince had the lead sure. and rhythm thing. Exactly. Like uh, Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy you know? had that. Well, if you think about it, I mean like all of our favorite guitar players probably are really good at both. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, but some of the, even, some of the really good lead players, their time feel when they play rhythm, it's like, ah, I can't hmm. believe I didn't notice that 10 years ago. But now when I listen back, it's like, <laughs> that's, Hmm. That, there's something weird about i mean of course yeah most of our favorite yeah. players yeah. i mean it's a different discipline yeah i mean you 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 do have well you know and you you know this as a as a studio guy and a producer and a working dude i mean it's like if you're getting paid to play guitar most of the time you're just getting paid to play rhythm guitar yeah right yeah totally 
like you're getting paid to make a song sound good or, or make it feel good or whatever. And so, you know, when it's time to solo, you get your eight bars. So you might as well make those feel good too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a deep hole. Oh, I know it's, there, yeah, guess, it's, we don't, but. yeah, there's, a, there's a lot there, but I think, yeah, you, you nailed it when you just said it's a different discipline. Mm. You know, some people can be chess masters and they can be amazing swimmers. It's like those are two different right. things. Now, of course, rhythm guitar and lead guitar have more crossover than chess and the butterfly stroke, but sure. you know, it's uh yeah. whatever. We don't yeah, we don't need to go. Well, I yeah, but I mean, I guess to further clarify what I was saying, like if you I, I didn't want to f- be in a musical situation where I couldn't do what was asked. And ah. I think a lot of times it was like, play great rhythm guitar, but we also need you to take a great guitar solo. So I was like, okay, crap. Well, I need to be able to do both of these at a decent level. Yeah. And so, hence why I tried to study all of it, you know? 